what's up y'all i know it's early in the morning um so for those of you that are up good morning hey you guys doing hope you guys are having a good day but i'm gonna switch this channel around real quick <sighs> So today is day two of development for the new game called Nightmare Case. Um, we've been working on it for a few days now. Um, but the few days that I haven't been working on it and have been spent, you know, working on music or working on ideas for the game. Yeah, I literally just got done mapping two areas for the game. I mean, if you guys don't know what mapping is, or if you're not a game developer and you don't know what mapping is, it's basically where you take and you create, you know, maps, areas, buildings. Like, that's mapping. Um... I do have an update for you guys on it, which I will show you guys in just a moment. But uh, if you guys, like I said last time, if you guys would like to, you know, alpha test and beta test this, let me know. And as soon as I get a good solid demo going, I will, you know, email you guys this stuff or send it on here if I can. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. But you guys will receive the demo and your game your name will be in the game credits as soon as you know the in, the game's done in its entirety. Um I may end up making this game an actual series just because of the direction I'm thinking about taking it. Um there may be more than one. I'm not sure yet I haven't decided but uh so far this is the Uh, so far, this is the school portion of the map, which took me about probably around two hours to do. Well, not even two hours. I'd say probably about an hour and a half, give or take. And then this is, like, once you go in here, you'll be greeted with this room right here, which this one took me about 10, 20, 30 minutes to do. Because I, I wanted to make it look good, but not too much overdoing we're doing it now. I am going to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the events that do happen. So, let's see if I can do it. Oh, man, it won't let me do it. But, um. That's just some of the dialogue from the game. But, uh, so far, it's going really good. I've been, like I said, I've been busting my ass on it. Um, you know, and as I said, if you guys don't know what's going on and what this thing is, it's a game, as you guys know. Um, I recently got a laptop um, with Windows 10, and I just recently got back into producing music again through fl studios 20 shot to fl studios love the new version um if you guys are on pc and you produce music be sure to grab that up um definitely really good definitely recommend fl studios to anyone whether you're a recording artist whether you're a producer so hit up fl studios but um Anyways, you know, I wound up getting FL Studios 20 and I wound up getting RPG Maker MV back after about two, three years of, you know, being stuck on Chromebook and Android and not really doing too much. I mean, yeah, I've done a lot, you know, recording wise, but I haven't really been able to do, you know, too much, you know, producing work and, you know, game work in game development like I used to. Um, this game will be available for all platforms as far as like Windows, Linux, 
Um, it'll be available for Android, iOS. Um, hopefully, it'll be available for Xbox One soon. So if you guys have Xbox, and maybe also, I don't know if the rumors about that of RPG Maker being available for Xbox One are true or not. I don't know. But hopefully they are. That would be super dope if it does. But uh, I do, if enough people do like it, I do plan on taking this game to, you know, bigger platforms like Google Play Store, um, iTunes, or Apple Store, whatever you, whatever store you guys run on Apple. Um, I used to have an Apple, actually. I had an iPhone 4 back when they first came out and just wasn't my thing but uh i am gonna try to get it up on the google play store if enough people do you know want to see it up there uh, as i said for those of you that do beta test the game and alpha test the game um which an alpha test will probably if i you know don't do any you know music production today and i just work on this i could have an alpha test probably the day with like the first few you know, minutes of the game. Um, and so, yeah, like, I'm super hyped about this game because it's been a long time since I've done game development. Um, you know, I mostly got into game development actually through a YouTuber I watch called Echo607. She's got some crazy cool stuff. Um, I've actually played a lot of her games that she's made called Gaia's Melody. I've played that entire series so far absolutely love it huge fan of the series so shout out to echo fucking love the games um if you guys have not checked her out you guys can look her up on youtube that's echo 607 she has some amazing games um and she is currently working on an rpg maker and the dating sim type game so if you guys went to like the sims or dating sims this will be right up your guys' alley. I mean, and normally I'm not into dating sims, but I'll, I'll I want to check that one out when it releases, just to see, you know, how it's gonna work and how it plays out. But uh, for now, this one is the one I'm working on. Uh, Nightmare Case is actually coming on pretty well actually um and I figured since you guys are you know wanting to test it out I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what happens so basically as I said you know you start at you start your game as the character in Naru um, obviously, you start in your home, and then, you know, you make your way outside your house, and as you're walking outside your house, you hear somebody calling your name, you're not sure who it is, and you, you kind of ignore it, like, you know, you're just like, the fuck was that, like, you kind of get freaked out, and you, you kind of think you're just, it's in your head, so you kind of ignore it. But then, you know, you go outside and you have, like, this weird look on your face. And you meet up with, like, who, I guess, like, one of your neighbors or your friends or whatever. And, like, he notices that and asks you about it. And, like, he, like you guys talk about it for a couple minutes. Matter of fact, let me read you guys some of the dialogue. I'll read you guys some of the dialogue that is for this. Like, this is a first-hand read off of the dialogue that I have so far. Um, basically, you know, your character starts off as, you know, he's like, you know, hey, Naru, like, what's with the, like, what's with the odd look? Because you got, like, this weird, you know, look on your face. And, then, you know, you're like, well, this morning I heard, and you're just like, never mind, I might be going crazy. And then the other guy that you talk to that talks to you is like, what's on your mind, Naru? Like, you know, you can tell me, like, what's going on? 
And then you know, I was like, well, this morning I woke up, thought I heard someone calling my name. And then basically he tells you to, you know, you better, you know, hurry up and get to school because, you know, it's, you know, you got to hurry up and get to school. And so that's all I got so far as far as that goes. Um, I'm actually currently on the part where you enter the school. Um, like I said, the school building. Um, I'm currently working on that. So, you know, like, I'm super, super excited for this game. It's going to be something different. It's not going to be a regular RPG. It's, if you guys have ever seen the anime series um, Spiral, it's kind of inspired by that. Like, it's kind of got that spiral kind of, you know, feel to it. So, if you guys have ever seen the anime series Spiral, you'll kind of get where the inspiration for this game came from. If you haven't done so yet, Go check it out. It's actually a really good series. It's one that I know you guys will definitely get into. But uh, I will definitely have more of an update for you guys later on today, considering the fact that I'm actually getting somewhere with this. Uh, as I said today, I'm going to kind of, you know, put off, you know, music production for the day. Um, I will be posting, you know, a lot of my other instrumentals, though, that I have done you know, on the YouTube and stuff like that, maybe, possibly, I don't know. But I know that today is going to be, you know, just a kickback, um, you know, play some Need for Speed 2015, um, work on this, you know, work on developing the game some more, and who knows, I may have a solid demo by the end of today. I don't know, I'll have to see. My dog's weird. He just stared at me and just kind of, walked out my dog's weird but uh, with that being said guys this has been day two of the game development of the one and only nightmare case um like i said i will have more updates for you guys as the game progresses and stuff like that Um, I can tell you what direction that it is going to go in, which is that you kind of find out that your brother's missing and you have to kind of follow these different clues and meet up with different people to find this person that has, you know, a clue to, you know, your brother and like where he's at. So it's a, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, but, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know I'm enjoying making it, but, uh, with that being said, y'all, I'm about to hop off here, get back to working on this. Um, yeah. Um, I may actually wind up sending this to myself just so I can test it out. Make sure everything runs properly. But uh, with that being said, I'm about to hop off here, get back to working on this, and I will catch you guys later with another update, man. Peace.